our lead story of the day is regarding China having a secret spy base on Cuba without the White House knowing. This one's crazy and insane. And we also have the White House's response to all this before we get into any of the details and the craziness of it all. Support a true American patriot by hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave us a short, sweet comment down below. Your help support would be greatly appreciated. Well, folks, China has been secretly operating a spy base in Cuba for four years, a White House official said, confirming that the communist country is increasing its surveillance capabilities right on the United States doorstep. Let's be honest. They're more than just on our doorstep. They're inside the door. They're in the house. There's been rumors that the Chinese government's trying to buy up land next to our military installations in our country so they could surveil what's going on. Hell, we saw spy balloons leave mainland China, fly all the way across the United States, gather surveillance, and then Joe Biden decides to blow it up. So they're not just on our borders or on our doorstep. They're inside, folks. That's what's going on right now. A Biden administration official recently spoke on the condition of anonymity and confirmed the news that China has been in Havana since 2019. Wild. They didn't have a clue that China was right there. The confirmation comes just days after White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, which we'll hear in just one moment, denied that China has a base in the Caribbean amid reports that President Xi Jinping was plotting to build a base. Quote, I've seen the press report. It's not accurate, Kirby said in an MSNBC interview regarding the Wall Street Journal's original story. Now, Kirby was technically correct. But a more disturbing truth has since emerged that China already has a listening station on the communist Caribbean island. Additionally, China appears to be looking to expand their number of bases around the world and has been quite quiet some time regarding all this. So China doesn't think in terms of every two to four years like presidents do. China thinks in terms of decades. They're playing 4D chess while we're playing like 2D, 3D chess, if that. So China's making some big moves here, and we're just allowing it to happen. Every president just allows it to happen. Trump tried to stop as much as he can, but Trump, Trump was only there for four years. The Democrat Party really allows China to increase, increase, increase. At some point, they're going to increase too far, and then obviously, now you got war on your hands. The Biden administration official who spoke out said that they have been worried about China's eagerness to expand their spying operations. I mean, this is going on for decades. This is, this is nothing new. What I can tell you is that we have been concerned since day one of this administration about China's influence activities around the world. Certainly in this hemisphere and in this region, we're watching this very, very closely continue. Chinese officials, though, at one point looked at sites spanning the Atlantic Ocean, Latin America, and the Middle East, Central Asia, Africa, and the Indo-Pacific. There was rumors, too, that all of which was just listed were places in which China has had spy balloons fly over as well. The original Wall Street Journal report on Thursday of last week shared that China and Cuba had reached an agreement to build an electronic eavesdropping station on the island. The journal reported China planned to pay a Cuban or Cuba billions of dollars as part of the negotiations. However, the U.S. intel official said the base was not a new development. Cuban Deputy Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez de Casio also refuted the report in a Twitter post Saturday. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 sure. Like we're going to believe anything that guy says in a Twitter. Come on, come on. The, the, the slanderous speculation continues. <laughs> Evidently promoted by certain media to cause harm and alarm without observing minimum patterns of communication and without providing data or evidence to support what they disseminate, he wrote. Uh, okay, yeah. Like, we're going to believe anything the Cubans say, really. It's like believing anything the Chinese said. The, Chi the, China, the Chinese still haven't claimed territory over the, the COVID-19 Wuhan virus, which literally just came out. Now that you can talk about all you want on, on uh, big tech now that, that it was a, a lab leak out of Wuhan, which we all freaking knew since day one, but we couldn't talk about it. But now, now you can say it like willy nilly. The New York Times is coming out with, with reports here, like a bombshell report that, oh yeah, yeah, it did come out of a lab in Wuhan. And by the way, the, the government gave like millions of dollars in grant money to this whole thing too. Yeah, we already know that. Rand Paul's been talking about it for years. We've been talking about it for years. Every conservative Republican's been talking about this whole thing for years. And you said for years that we couldn't talk about it. Oh, it's true. Yeah, no shit. The news of the base comes at a time when the relationship between China and the U.S. has been increasingly unsettling. In 2022, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, God, glad she's out, visited democratically governed Taiwan, which led to China launching military exercises in the area. China's also been launching some serious military exercises over 
Taiwanese airspace and kind of going a little bit too far more than they've done. I mean, they sent like almost 40 aircraft the other day over their airspace. And then they went even a step further and sent like a half a dozen or something like that, or a dozen aircraft into the space as well. Well, we got uh, John Kirby here queued up from yesterday's White House press briefing being asked this question about this spy base by Wonder Woman from Fox News, the one we love here the most on the Bald Brad show, uh, Jackie Heinrich, questioning him on this whole debacle. Here's his response. John, is there an effort to find the source of the leak on the Cuba base now? Not that I'm aware. And I guess the reason why this has been characterized as a walk back is that saying that the report was inaccurate left all of us with the impression that this base didn't exist or would not exist. Um, having heard you saying that you went as far as you could on that, was a reason for your statement at all related to Blinken's travel to China next week? No. And then John Ratcliffe said that uh, the allegation that there was a Chinese spy base in Cuba under the Trump administration is not true. Uh, what do you say to that? Not an allegation, true. And uh, our assessment is that the previous administration would have had the same access to that intelligence as we did. Do you think they knew about it? And That's up to them to speak to. They would have had the same access to the intelligence that we would have. When you were briefed on its existence, did, were, was the administration told whether or not this was this information was embraced by the previous administration or anything had been done about it under the previous? I, I don't know about what was transferred in the, as far as the, the transition between the, the two administrations with respect to this particular issue. I, I just don't know. So how, do we, how should we understand him saying it didn't exist and you guys saying it did? What should we take away from that? All I can tell you is that uh, it, it's our assessment that, that the previous administration would have had access to the same intelligence that we did. Now, whether they uh, availed themselves of that access, uh, whether one, any one individual saw it and others didn't, I can't speak to it. We weren't here at the time. Given the events in Miami tomorrow. It's, folks, you've heard me talk about this, of how much it's like, oh, well, we didn't know. Oh, well, we don't, we don't know what was on those aircraft or the UFOs or whatever the hell we shot out of the sky a few months back under Joe Biden, where it was like a, a weekly occurrence of just shooting things out of the sky. Oh, we don't know what type of spy craft was there. Uh, it's tough terrain. We can't get it. Oh, we shot it over at deep waters. Oh, oopsie. Like we couldn't have thought about that. That would happen. It, I mean, it's thing after thing with this administration. Like, oh, we don't know. Or, oh, we didn't know. We pull out of Afghanistan, 13 uh, military men and women get blown to shreds. And you got people stuffed in the wheel well of our uh, aircraft dying, falling from the sky left and right being freaking killed in Afghanistan for supporting the United States. Oh, well, we, we, we didn't know that the country would be ran over that quick by the Taliban. We didn't know that things would be rough shotted for like that. We not a clue decades of assessment. Oh no. It's like, really? And then you, then you have a Chinese spy blade, uh, base off, off of Cuba. And you're like, for years, it wasn't like, it's just like a new development. Just boom, didn't know. Huh? Right. I mean, that's like it's like having a spy base off of, off of Cata, Catalina off the coast of California. Yeah, I didn't have a clue. Oh, oh, shit. Really? It was there, huh? Oh. I mean, you guys, for two years, we've literally seen him. And it's not his fault necessarily, but it's like the guy doesn't have any answers. What is going on with their military? I'm a huge proponent. I'm a huge advocate of the military, but I'm, I'm questioning here. of What the hell are we doing? Honestly, I mean, it sounds like I'm venting, but this is some serious crap. We're going to allow our biggest enemy other than Russia and maybe Iran just having a spy spy base just that close. Like really? And then we're getting reports again. They want to buy property here in the United States and, and, and have supposedly spies right next to our military installations. Let me know what you think about this. You guys, this is, this is wild. This is crazy. I mean, it is, it does not make us look good. That's for damn sure. It doesn't make John Kirby look good, which I think is why he's answering the questions the way he was disappointment. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.